essentially be able to do that and not be overwhelmed finding a new job or figuring out a different career path you can use this for both positive and negative things that's a lot of stuff hello you guys welcome back to my channel my name is jess and we are here with another why night Today, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about something called the 24-hour goal. This is also a little bit about how I manage to schedule to get everything done that I want to get done because I know I typically have a million one things that I'm trying to do and this is how I do it. This is something that I talk to my therapist about from time to time and I think it really helps me out. So at some point, I will talk to you guys a little bit more about like therapy and mental health that kind of stuff but for today i thought that this would be a really great topic to just share before we get started i just realized i forgot to mention that i am drinking today the penrose hill bottle that i had my roommate got it for me for my birthday and i still have it because i don't drink wine all that often so that's what i'm drinking tonight and otherwise let's just get into what even is a 24-hour goal basically what it is is when you break up these bigger goals that you have in your life into really tiny bite-sized pieces that you can just do in a singular day so that these things slowly add up to the bigger goal. The point of a 24-hour goal is to help you to keep on track to these bigger goals and to essentially be able to do that and not be overwhelmed. So at some point in your life, you will get to that bigger goal, but you have to start somewhere. So something that you can think about is money for example if you would like to pay off a student loan you can start by saving x amount each month or each day or whatever it might be but then that way you know in 10 years you can pay it off even though your loan is a 25 year loan you can also think about this in terms of work like i want to apply to x amount of jobs per day or i want to reach out to x amount of people on linkedin and have a conversation with them each month or each day or whatever and then that way it leads up to finding a new job or figuring out a different career path or or something like that so these little tiny goals that it might seem like they're not doing anything are huge stepping stones to getting to that ultimate big huge goal that you see at the end that you really really want so how do you start First of all, know what your goal is. I'm sure you have something in mind that you've been wanting to do, whether that be a new hobby, budgeting for something, buying a house, buying a new car, whatever it is, finding a new job, you have a goal that you have in mind and you can start from there. After that, I would find something that really works for you that resonates with you throughout your entire day, whether that be a notebook, a planner, Google Calendar, your notes app and your phone, a to-do list, Whatever it is, just figure out the thing that you like to use. I use a combination personally. I like to have a physical planner, but I also like to use Google Calendar. Google Calendar allows me to actually schedule out how long it's gonna take me to do each thing. But with a physical calendar, I can just write quick notes or to-do items or whatever it is and kind of understand, okay, each day I need to do this thing. So I like using a mix, but everybody is different and there's no one tool that's better because it just depends on how your brain works. The next step in starting is being realistic with your goals. So if you need to save $1,000, you're not gonna say, okay, today I'm gonna save $1,000. You're gonna say each day, I'm gonna save $5 until I hit 1,000. So be realistic about what you can do. You're not going to be able to achieve that bigger goal instantly. And although maybe you might surprise yourself and achieve it quicker than you thought you would, just be realistic with what you can do each day. Remember that you have to still work. You still have to have good meals you still need to see your friends you still need time to relax and that's really really important because you don't want to work all day and then not have any time for yourself because then you'll burn yourself out so avoid burnout and be realistic about what you can do find 20 minutes each day or an hour each day to do that task that you need to do that will help you lead to that goal you can also plan ahead and that really helps me stay motivated. So planning out my week of, okay, I need to do all these things on each of these days. And then by the end of the day, I'll have three new YouTube videos or I'll have X amount more in my savings or whatever it is. And that gets me closer and closer to my bigger goals. And I would also say just work backwards from the bigger goals that you have. So start with that massive goal. I'll take YouTube as an example. So I want to build my YouTube channel. Well, I'm not gonna be able to do that overnight. In fact that will take me years to do. But what I can do is break that down into, okay, I know I need to get more subscribers. So how do I do that? Well, I need to post more consistently. So let me find a couple of days that work for me. For me, it's Tuesdays and Saturdays. So, okay, now I know what, what days I 
me to post. So what all needs to go into a video, I have to record, edit, make sure that it's okay, then have upload time. Again, being realistic about how this all works. It doesn't just go like that. There's upload time. Sometimes that takes a full day. It just depends. And so breaking all of that down and pre-planning can really help. And now that I've broken it all down, I know, okay, on Monday, I take an hour to do a recording. And then on Tuesday, I take two hours to edit. And then on Wednesday, I take an hour to do research and so on and so forth. And then I'm prepared and I also can get ahead if I really need to. But why are 24-hour goals so important anyway? Personally, I'm a very goal-oriented person. I think it's really important to have something to look forward to, to always have drive for something. And I think all of us have that drive or that passion for something. And sometimes these things feel sort of unachievable. It's like, oh, I watch people on YouTube all the time, but it would be way too hard for me to get that many followers. So what's the point? And if we keep thinking that way, then we're never going to achieve it. But if we finally start doing it, then we'll see that we slowly can make little chips at these goals until we reach them. I also just personally think that having goals is a really important part of your life. Just again, always having something to look forward to, something that excites you. That can change as well. It doesn't have to be the same thing. If you decide, actually, I hate this thing all of a sudden, that's okay. You can keep building up different things that you like to do. 24-hour goals also help you actually achieve these bigger things that you really wanted to do. So if you're thinking of like a marathon, for example, you're not just going to go from never running to running a marathon. You're going to start by running a couple miles per day until you're able to get to that point where you can run a marathon. And you can think of these goals the exact same way. You're breaking up these small pieces and then that way slowly you can get to that bigger thing, your marathon. An interesting take on 24-hour goals is that you can use this for both positive and negative things and I do this pretty often. I have a lot of anxiety and I stress out a lot and if I give myself, it sounds so funny, but I've talked to my therapist about this and he was like, this is a great idea. If you give yourself time to stress, that is okay. So I can give myself time to just be in my head or be with myself. But what that means is that for that other part of the day, if I start to think about those things that are stressing me out, I can tell myself, no, I have scheduled to think about that later. So think of money, for example. If I need a budgeting moment, if I need some time to figure out a budget for something, I can start stressing throughout my entire day about my budget and continue to worry about my budget or I can schedule, okay, after work, I'm gonna just sit down and look at my budget for 30 minutes. Then every time it pops into my head, oh my God, you have to think about your budget. It's like, no, I already told myself I'm gonna look at that after work for 30 minutes. So you don't have to worry about it now. And then it kind of eases that anxiety a little bit. It's not a perfect foolproof solution. Don't get me wrong, but it really does help. And again, you can use it for the positives of trying to achieve those bigger marathon type goals. I think the last thing is that I can use these goals and you can use these goals as a way to achieve those bigger parts of your life that you would really like without it feeling daunting. So again, when you say, I want to have you to be my full-time job, that seems really daunting because how am I gonna do that? But when you break up these tiny little things of, I'm just gonna post two videos this week, I'm just gonna record for an hour today or whatever it is, then it feels so much more achievable and you you get to reward yourself too. Like crossing off that to-do item is so important and it really makes you feel so good. And you get to say like, yes, I did that thing. I'm one step closer now. Overall, I just think that 24 hour goals are a really great way to get ahead, get your mind in the right place each day and understand what you have to do in each day in order to get to that bigger goal that you're trying to achieve. I know that it can be daunting, but having goals is so important. Like I mentioned before, just because you get a chance to kind of have structure to your day, potentially reach those things that you never thought was possible before, and just kind of fulfill some of your passions too. I mean, we're living life and it's not just about work, home, work, home. It's about being with friends, experiencing things, being driven and finding our passions. I hope that kind of helped. I don't want to sound too preachy, but this is something that really has helped me over the last year with managing everything because between work, working a second job, trying to do YouTube, having a dog, focusing on family, also wanting some alone time, that's a lot of stuff and it can get really stressful really easily, but scheduling these things out and knowing what I have to do each day really, really helps and I know it could potentially help other people too. So I hope you guys got something out of this. 
this. If there's anything that you guys have advice on, definitely let me know, especially relating to these 24 hour goals. Or if you guys have any other goals that you guys are trying to achieve this year or just big goals, not necessarily like resolution type things, let me know. I know you guys have mentioned things like Etsy or YouTube, and I'm very interested if you guys already have started something or have gone that one step of making the link or making that channel or I don't know, whatever it is, share it in the comments. I would love to see it. I would love to at some point highlight you guys as well. I appreciate every single one of you who watches my videos because you're helping me reach my goals. I would love to do the same for you guys. So thank you guys so much. I hope this helped. I hope you guys have a really great weekend and I will see you next time. Cheers!